skinny man. In the whole entire history of the world, there's never been a moment like this. We need to end weapon sales to Israel, and we are not going to get it if we just line up behind Kamala. We will only get what we demand. Uh, we're not okay with what the Democratic Party is doing. We're going to put people's pressure on them. Uh, and uh, we can't just look, stand by while they're having a convention in our city. Uh. Also, I'm here today to denounce the criminal... Uh, for the first time, a lot of people are um, paying attention to the Palestinian struggle, uh, struggle and plight, and um, looking at how Palestinians feel in this country, in this campus, and in the city in general. Uh, I've always been interested in being kind of like a politician, uh, but uh, um, be, uh, I've always been interested in that. Uh, so uh, just an avenue to get through that was being a polit uh, political science major and then going to law school, becoming a lawyer was also like something that, uh, uh, that interested me as like a child. From Chicago to Palestine, fight back against racist state violence. Hell yeah. Okay. No. Is it? Okay. I, I feel like the Democratic and Republican parties, they're two of the same parties that just say things differently. They're co uh, controlled by corporate uh, interests and uh, they won't benefit the average person. Um, <laughs> So it's a, I think it's a cause that many of us are willing to take up, but at the same time, we would have loved to live in a world where all we would have had to worry about was um, like us and our families and like our education, but that isn't the world we live in at the moment. So um, we would have loved to live in a world where we were all liberated, but it feels like we are gonna have to do that ourselves and do it for our future generations. Okay, so Rosie's, what went well? And you'll feel free to raise your hand and then I'll have your big stack, okay? That's what? I mean, I hope that obviously whoever wins in November will be out here in the streets like how we were today. Uh, no matter if it's Democrat or Republican, uh, we will always uh, be protesting for the people and we are going to end the genocide and end the apartheid state of Israel like within our lifetimes whether the Democrats or Republicans like it or not.